Good morning. Hello. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. I just took the most beautiful shower in the world. It felt so good. I shaved every part of my body and it was so relaxing. I got a brand new shaver. Surprisingly, it was like one of those like Venus packs where you can get like a pack of like 10 for like 12 bucks or something. Those razors are so sharp. I just got out. I'm going to moisturize and then oh my god, can we talk about this real quick before we get our day started? Thank you to every person who recommended me to get Aquaphor. I kind of knew about it because when Carlos got his tattoo done last year, this was what Andrew recommended, I believe. So I kind of knew about it, but I didn't know that it worked to the extent of getting rid of dry skin. So for the last, I would say like few weeks, pretty much ever since I moved in here, I, well, personally, it's my fault because I haven't been taking really good care of my skin. So it's been really dry around like the cracks of my nose and then this area. And last night, I put this on around my nose. I brought it down here and then I also put it on a little texture that I'm getting. I think it's from wearing masks. Oh my god, I woke up this morning with super soft skin and all of the dry flakes are pretty much gone. Do you guys see that? I'm in love. I'm not gonna lie, I woke up feeling really gross because this is kind of like a jelly formula. So I woke up just feeling disgusting, but I hopped in the shower, I washed my face, and it felt so good. I even put it on my lips. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay, lip update. They're smaller. We still have a little bruise. They don't feel super swollen or anything. I'm very, very excited. I think in about a week, I'll start wearing a lip product, but for now, I just want it to like completely heal. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face with my current favorite moisturizer. Uh, today, I definitely want to go online and buy the Estee Lauder Serum. And then there was like this other skincare product I wanted to use. It's the Murad, Murad, M-U-R-A-D, the Murad Intense Recovery Cream. I heard that's really good too if you have um, dry skin. I have been loving this current moisturizer from, is it Laneige? I'm just gonna say it's Laneige. The problem with this is that you don't get a lot. <laughs> but isn't packaging so cute? It feels so good. I've only been using this for a week now, but I've been really enjoying it so far. Oh, No makeup today, you guys. We're gonna run some errands. One of my priorities today is to stop at Starbucks and get the vanilla syrup for my Nespresso. Oh, it feels so good. I'm gonna go in with this. This is like my new chapstick. Thank you, I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's really helped out a lot. Hello, we are off to run some errands. I am just wearing this flowy, comfortable dress from ASOS, I got this two years ago and I am still obsessed with it. These are my favorite dresses. You can just put them over and call it a day. I'm wearing these shoes that I got from Miss Lola. You guys saw it in a previous vlog. And then my favorite everyday bag possible. If you guys, possible, that make, that make made no sense. My favorite bag ever. If you guys are looking into investing in a high-end everyday bag, a bag that you can use for special occasions or you can use every single day, basically something where you're going to get your money's worth and it's going to be versatile, it is going to be this one. I unfortunately do not know the name, but I have the black one. I know lighting's kind of crazy right now. We have all of the shades down because Alex is here finishing up the backyard. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that he will be done Friday and then we can start decorating the patio and start being outside more. I'm very, very excited to be in the backyard. But, oh, it's kind of warm today, surprisingly, so that's why I'm in a dress. I'm very excited. Spring is happening, and spring is my favorite time because I love, love, love dresses. But yeah, I have the black one. I'll show you guys in the car when there's better lighting. And then this thick strap for the crossbody I bought separately. And um, this does come with a strap, by the way. I just don't like it as much because it's... I for, actually don't remember what it looks like. Is it thinner? I think it's a little bit thinner. Ooh, why do I not, I like don't remember because I've been wearing this ever since I bought the bag. But um, let me show you guys in the car. It's a little bit easier. Let's go. A mask with moisturizer is not it, you guys. Ugh, 
Ooh, my skin looks great though. Okay, so I just got out of Starbucks and I'm so excited. We got the goods. This is exactly what I was looking for. The girl that the barista that I ordered from looked kind of confused, so I don't know if she was new because literally all of my friends that either used to work from Star at Starbucks or work from or work at a Starbucks now told me that they it's totally normal for them to sell this. Okay, so I have to tell you guys because I don't want you guys to make this mistake. I was about to go on Amazon and buy this off Amazon. Amazon and it was $30 on Amazon. If you go to a Starbucks store and ask for, hi, can I buy a bottle of your vanilla syrup? It's $12, you guys. $12 at Starbucks, $33 on Amazon, I believe. So make sure you guys head to a Starbucks and buy it from the actual store. But I'm gonna use this today to make my coffee. I got two bottles. So basically what I researched was, they said online that Starbucks makes their sweet cream by putting three pumps of vanilla syrup and then they use half a cup of 2% milk and half a cup of heavy cream. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and put it in the frother. And we're gonna try that later on when we get home. But I just realized Carlos ordered Mexican food for his lunch slash dinner. And I'm kind of right next to Chipotle. So I'm like, should I get Chipotle or should I get an acai bowl? And then also I want to go to Home Goods real quick and I also have to go to the bank as well because my mom gave me gave Carlos and I money for New Year's and I want to deposit that and then also just take care of a few business things so I'm like debating right now if I should get lunch I feel like I should I'm really really trying to get everything done because Carlos and I last night at 3 o'clock in the morning decided to start designated survivors or no designated survivor which is a TV show on Netflix it is so freaking good it's been a very long time since i've started a, such a good show that starts off really good and this one literally we got into the drama within the first five minutes of the episode and i love that it's moving at a really nice fast speed and i just love the storyline i love the cast i love everything about it you guys should definitely check it out it's called designated survivor on netflix i believe there's three seasons and everyone's been messaging me saying that season one and two is really good but three is kind of eh. It's really good. I keep telling my friends, I'm like, if Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder had a baby, it would be this show. It is so, so good. You guys should definitely check it out. I, I'm so happy that we found a TV show because we were kind of going on for a while without a TV show for a while. For the last week, we've been watching Sinner season three, but season three is whack, y'all. If you guys want a good show, watch Sinner Season one was my favorite. Season two was okay, and season three is whack. But yeah, I'm trying to get everything done so I can get home tonight, and Carlos and I are gonna watch Designated Survivor. We are such a binge-watching couple. Like, if we ever find a good TV show, we try to watch as much as we can. Like, we, I just could not take my eyes off the screen. Last night, and we ended up watching two or three episodes and went to bed at 6 a.m. We were exhausted. But anywho, I'm gonna debate about eating and then I'll meet you guys at Home Goods. I feel like you guys can't even see me. It's so bright. I decided to get Chipotle. I'm gonna eat in the car real quick. And then we are going to head into Ulta. And then I also want to go to Home Goods. And then I have to go to Target or Kohl's to return Amazon stuff. If you guys didn't know, you can go to Kohl's and return Amazon stuff and they'll pack it up and they'll print out the shipping label and they'll take care of everything for you. You just have to show them the Amazon code. So I'm returning a few things to Amazon and then I, I'll just swing into Target because I need to get heavy cream for the sweet creamer. Brie just sent me, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, my friend Brie, I think I mentioned it in yesterday's video. My friend Brie, who lives in Seattle, she's freaking amazing I love her so much we met over uh, Instagram because we rescued from the same rescue uh, foundation bunnies buddies anywho long story short we love each other and I love her dearly and she works at Starbucks and she's giving me all the details on how to make the sweet creamer so she's sending me all of the measurements right now I'm so freaking excited you guys but I'm gonna eat my Chipotle I cannot wait to have diarrhea later <gasps> Oh my god, I thought I thought she didn't put a fork in. I was about to cry. Chipotle always gives me diarrhea, but I do it to myself all the time. It's completely normal at this point. Chipotle shake. If you don't shake your bowl like this, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I want to show you guys what I get. Not that you guys would care, but... 
I was in my car earlier after I got the stuff at Starbucks and I met a subscriber. She knocked on my car window and I kind of got freaked out because, you know, I was so startled. But then I rolled it down and she was like, hi, like I watch your videos. She's so sweet. Ew, so good. So I get a salad bowl with brown rice, half steak, half chicken, a little bit of mild, a little bit of red hot, cheese, corn, and more lettuce. Mine's kind of like a legit salad bowl instead of like a rice bowl, but it's so, so good. How beautiful, wow. Oh my gosh. This is my aisle, you guys. The music here is too loud, so I'm trying to film, but look at all these cutting boards. But I like elevated ones and I don't see those anywhere. Ooh, we have more in the back. right hello I don't think so right I want to go through everything that I maybe you guys are a little too bright let me move this I want to go through all of woo way too bright hello there much better I wanted to go through everything that I got at Ulta. I went into Ulta, I achieved two goals, but I also got a bunch of other things I wanted to try out. So we'll do like a makeup Ulta haul if you guys are interested. And then we're gonna go through all of the gift baskets for like a housewarming present for the neighbors. And I hope this gives you guys ideas. I know you guys have been really looking forward to this. I've gotten a few comments that were like, are you gonna do the gift baskets? You've been here for almost two months. And honestly, I was waiting for my neighbor next door to move in. My other neighbor and I moved in at the same time, but my neighbor on the right, they have not moved in yet. And everybody has pretty much moved in on the street. So we're kind of waiting on them. We're not sure if maybe it didn't go through or maybe they're just moving in super late or we don't know what's going on. But I've been waiting and waiting and I figure since I was at Home Goods, I might as well do the gift baskets. So we're gonna go through all of them and then I'm gonna show you how I curated them. I hope that it gives you guys inspiration. Home Goods is such a great place to go. And I love gift, gift baskets because you can do like a little bit of everything. So they're categorized. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with things that I got for me. <laughs> I think that would be a really, really good place to start. Do we start with home goods or do we start with Ulta? I, I was out of the house for six or seven hours. Um, it was a very long time. You Let's just start with Ulta, why don't we? Okay, the first thing that I got at Ulta is this Morphe Glam Bronzer. Glam Bronze. And it's in the color, wait, no. Is it the color Mastermind? Yeah, I assume so. I opened it earlier, but it's what I love about it is that it's huge. And I really like the color. It looks lighter on camera, but in person, it's a really nice bronzer. It doesn't seem too intimidating. Oh, it's extremely soft. This is the type of bronzer I personally like. I don't like it when it's too much because then I feel like I look really muddy. So I got that. And, oh wait, let me just pour everything out and then we can put it back into the bag. We got the bronzer, very excited for that. And then remember I told you guys I wanted to try the Estee Lauder? Well, I didn't know that Ulta carries it. So I got the Estee Lauder, sorry, Advanced Night Repair. And this was only the only size they had. They had a bigger size, but I don't think it was in stock. And then I, didn't even, I knew that uh, Ulta carried this, but I just had a feeling it was gonna be sold out. Fortunately, fortunately, not unfortunately, the good thing is <laughs> it was in stock. I, this is the Murad Intense Recovery Cream. I will be trying both of these tonight. I'm very excited. I am on the extreme dryness side lately, so I need all the hydration possible. I grabbed a few MAC Cosmetics lip liners. These are my favorite. I will show you my favorite combination. Oh, did I grab it? 
Okay, so this is what I used to wear all the time when I first started making YouTube videos and I was in college. So it was like 2013, 2014. So I would line my lips with MAC Sore and then I would go in with MAC Velvet Teddy as a lipstick and then I would mix it with MAC Whirl. Such a good combination. I also grabbed Oak, Boldly Bare, Spice, and Cork. So I will be trying these in a future makeup tutorials. I saw this little like travel size Kylie Cosmetics lip kit thingy. Oh my god, horrible focus. I bet it'll focus up here. It's having a hard time focusing. There we go. Wow. Okay, whatever. It's so freaking cute. It's mini. I grabbed this bronzer from Physicians Formula. This butter bronzer. I've heard good things about it, so I'm excited to try. And then we have some Morphe brushes. We have the Morphe M449. Really good for under the eyes. Also really good for under the eyes is the M536. And then this tiny, tiny, tiny liner brush, the M250. Super thin. I grabbed these. I also grabbed another highlighting brush. This is like my OG from back, back in the day. And then I also grabbed Morphe's new foundation, the Filter Effect, in the color Filter Light 8. I'm excited to try that out. I think I'm gonna try that out the next time I do my makeup. And then I also grabbed the uh, LA Cosmetics Concealer in Creamy Beige. I use this to clean up my brows. And then we got some, oh, and then I also got the Morphe Facial Spray. This is their new one, the Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. And then I also grabbed one, like two of my favorite hair products. One is Not Your Mother's, She's a Tease. This is great if you want volume. And then I also got Beach Babe texturizing dry shampoo. I want to try this out because I am getting my hair done next week. We're going a little bit longer and we're actually doing color this time. I haven't done color in years, so I'm very excited. That's all I got at Ulta. I'm so excited to try those things out. Let's talk home goods. Okay, so where do I even start? First and foremost, I'm so excited. I found the book from Joanna, and I love her, Joanna Gaines. I love their t TV show, Fixer Upper. Carlos and I used to watch it all the time when we first started dating. That's something that we would do after he came home from work every day, and then we would order Postmates. And I love her line. I love everything about the line. I love her. So I don't, to be honest, I don't actually read these books. <laughs> I mean, Oh, they're like, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure eventually like I will read these books, but I buy these books for coffee table decor. So if you guys look around the house, you'll see really big, chunky, aesthetically pleasing books. And I basically buy them for the benefit of the future, but also as an aesthetic. And I got this for $12.99 and originally it's $17. I actually was gonna get it at Target and I saw it at Home Goods, and I was very excited. I also got, this glass jar that suction shuts off right here like this. It's very, very nice. And I wanted a few of these because I make fish sauce all the time and I realized I didn't have anything to store it in. I was gonna do a mason jar, but fish sauce is really strong and once you use it in something, the smell is always gonna kind of be there. So I grabbed one of these. I'm very excited for this. I also grabbed, all of these are mine. Oh, I also grabbed these scissors. The color was so cute. This was $5. How much was this jar? Oh, this whole entire bottle was $4. And then I also got a little lemon holder for the fridge because I always have leftover lime or lemon. And this baby was $3. And then I got the boys a new toy. How cute is this? It's a Ruffles chip bag in a dog, uh, dog toy and it makes sounds. So that will be new to their collection. I also got these little things. I used to have one from Ikea, but then I lost it or I got rid of it somehow when I moved. So I grabbed another one. They're really great for keeping oil in the pan so it doesn't go everywhere. And I just love these because they're matte black and they're so nice. I grabbed two of these and they were $6 each. Very excited for that. I got some kitchen towels. I thought these were really cute. We have like polka dots here and then we have another set that's like stripes. I love these. These are really nice to have in the kitchen. They were $10 for the whole pack and they're really nice and big. Feel really, really good. I was impressed. I also got 
Another one, this was $8, so cute. I love the color. And then I got big mittens because I realized that we don't have any in the kitchen. We have small ones for my hands, but Carlos's hands are really big. These were $6. And then I also got more jars, but instead of glass, these are hard, uh, really good quality plastic. So this is supposed to be for a kind of like a fruit thing, like you put fruits in it and then you put water in, but you can use this for so many things. And then I also got this one as well. I was actually gonna use one of these for my sweet creamer because my friend Brie is uh, taught me how to make the Starbucks sweet cream in like a bulk so I can use it throughout the week. I feel like I got other stuff. Oh, these are for me. I got these polka dot mittens, oven mittens for the kitchen and these were $6. I'm very excited for that. Okay, let's talk about the gift baskets. It's so nice to just sit here and talk to you guys because I've been like running around all day long and my feet hurt. So basically, you know, we're gonna be living here for like 10 plus years, maybe probably the rest of our lives, we don't know. And so these neighbors are definitely probably going to be our pretty close friends. And we've gotten to know a few of them so far and we are so thankful that one, all of our neighbors are extremely kind and so nice. And they're like really hip and outgoing. Like they like to have a good time. A second thing is they all have dogs. Our next door neighbor has three dogs, the house, a across from them, so diagonal from us has one dog. The house across from us has, I think, two dogs. The house diagonal from us has two dogs. And then the house next to us has two dogs as well. So everybody has quite a bit of dogs going on and we love that. So like I said, I'm still waiting for my next door neighbor and I have four baskets here with me. My last basket I'm actually gonna make at home because when I was at Home Goods, I realized that I had an extra basket um, around the house and extra kind of knickknacks that I was able to curate into a basket. So you guys probably won't see that one, but it's maybe at the end. Maybe when I put it together later, I'll show you a sneak peek. But okay, let's go through the baskets. Like I said, I hope this gives you guys ideas. I've always done this in every place that I've lived in. Um, ever since I started, I, ever since I moved out in 2018, I always gave my neighbors housewarming gifts. One, it's kind. It makes their day. Moving is very stressful. And sometimes when you move to a new place, you want to feel like, it's home and sometimes saying getting a hello from your neighbor is all that you need to hear and so a housewarming gift to me is really important my mom always taught me to give back but also you know your neighbors are also your security so you look out for each other's and that's what neighbors are for like we're always looking out for our neighbors here even though we've been here for like two months but it's really cool because um like if they see anything they always tell us and like vice versa so i think having a good friendship with your neighbors is really important and hey sometimes they become lifelong friends but i started doing this when i moved out in 2018 and in my last place, I also did it as well. I went all out in my last place because it was also around like Thut, which is uh, Lunar New Year's in the Vietnamese culture. So that was really fun. So here, since this is like our first house and we're gonna be living here for a very, very long time, I wanted to do gift baskets. I think this is a great way to kind of mix everything together. I have a good sense of my neighbors by now since we've all kind of been living here, except, except like the two because two of my neighbors just moved in like two weeks ago. But the others, I kind of got an idea, especially my neighbor Megan and Corey who live across the street. Funny story, they're actually the owner of that dog Pixie that Carlos and I found on the street when we first moved in. I don't know if you guys remember that vlog, but I have a good idea like what Megan and Corey's house look like, looks like because Megan has shown me pictures. So she's very um, Joanna Gaines, like farmhouse, cozy, homey. So first of all, I got this basket was absolutely adorable and I think she's really gonna use it whether she puts towels in here or she puts dog toys or she puts anything I think it would really go with her house I feel like this video is gonna be really freaking long so the first thing that I got her were these a set of kitchen towels 
I think this is really important. They're really, really nice. Good quality, quality material. And I got a pack of three for $8. Okay, next thing I got is for her dog. I got the dog a little bit of a dog toy. This was $6. And this dog toy is cool because you can kind of like pull it and then it squeaks and stuff. And then I got her another dog toy. This one says Papachino. How cute is this? And then this I'm so excited about because it goes with her house so well. It's a mason jar soap dispenser. How cute is that? It says mason on the front. And I believe the silver goes really nicely with her house. And then to match that, I got her this little coffee container. So cute. I freaking love this. I personally would never use it because I don't know what I would put in it and I ran out of room in the kitchen. But I feel like she'll use it and put something in here. I also got her this jar for dog snacks. How cute is this? It says wolf on the front and then it has like a little heart and a lid. So cute. This one was $10, which I was so impressed by because it's really good material. And then I also got her this candle for $10. I thought it smelled so good. Her husband, Corey, I think he does something car auto related as a career and he also can make like cheese boards and cutting boards and he just like seems really hardcore and when i smelled this candle i thought of corey yep it's very um i feel like corey wouldn't be mad if megan <laughs> lit this in the house so it's really really expensive smelling like i love love the smell it smells very bougie you know and then i got everybody these little mason jar shots shot glasses Oh my God, aren't these so cute? They're miniature. And then what I love about gift baskets is she can use the basket at the end, which is really nice. So I am going to, you know what? I'm just gonna like put everything back together and then I'll actually make it pretty later on. Cause right now I just wanna show you guys what I got our neighbors. Cause I wanna make it look really pretty. So our next neighbor, so they have a bigger dog and they're more of a younger couple and they're newly engaged. So I thought that was so sweet. And their parents are like super cool, by the way. We met their parents as well. I got them these very chic modern coasters. I feel like they're young, they're fresh. They also like to have friends over too. So coasters is very important. And then they have a dog as well. The dog's probably like a medium sized dog, maybe like 40 pounds. Is that medium or large? I feel like Riley, like our Riley is extra large. So I feel like their dog might be like a large. But I got them this dog toy and it says, it's like a Henneken, Hen, Henneken, Henneken beer bottle, but it says uh, Henne Kennel. It's so cute. And then again, the Mason shot glasses. And I got them these uh, dish cloths. They're so cute. It kind of goes with the coasters. I thought it was adorable. And then this gigantic candle that smells so good. This candle was $15 and it's huge. And this smells so, so, so good. And then this is the basket that I'm putting everything in. Isn't it so cute? They can put this in the bathroom, put toilet paper in here, roll up towels. They can put this pretty much anywhere. I went with white and a neutral color detailing because I don't actually know what their house looks like on the inside. So I feel like this would kind of go with anything. I think that I'm going to give everybody their baskets tomorrow, probably later in the afternoon when people are home. So these are my other neighbors. Oh, you guys are not gonna see one basket. My The basket that you're not gonna see is going to my neighbor diagonal from me. They're also like a younger couple and they have two dogs and they're really, really cool. So I have to put their basket together and show you later. But this neighbor is an elderly couple. They are so, so nice. They have two little dogs and one is like a one is like our Cooper, but he's black. And they're just like the sweetest. So I wanted to kind of get them something that I think they would use. Like I wasn't going to, you know, obviously put anything like shot glasses, anything in there. Who knows, actually? You can still take shots when you're older, you know? Oh, well, first of all, they got the same uh, dishcloth. And then I got them this dog toy and I got them the same one that I got Megan and Corey. And then I saw this little strawberry thing and I think it's so cute. I kind of got a sneak inside their garage when we were walking the dogs once and this kind of goes with their decor. So I'm taking a big guess right now um, and I think she'll really love it. But it's like a little container strawberry thing. It's absolutely 
absolutely adorable. And then I got these two tea glasses that were so beautiful. Like I could not resist. Like my mom would be in love with these. Look at the flower detailing, you guys. It's so freaking beautiful. And then this one, oh, it's just stunning. Can you guys see? These were $4. So good. And then I got them another towel with dogs on it. So cute. And then their basket is this cute little basket here. So I'm gonna put that back. I also want to put like these in every bag, like little pieces of candy. Or I was thinking about putting my favorite ramen. I kind of want to share a little bit of my culture with them, but also like a little bit of what I like. I was gonna share my favorite ramen in the bag. So I'm thinking about that. So we shall see. And then last but not least is my neighbor that lives next door. So this is for Sean and Heather. Sean and Heather are extremely sweet. And oh, this is for Clem. I bought this for Clem, which is Michelle's dog. I will give it to her this weekend. But um, I got a whole pack of balls because they have multiple dogs and their dogs are always outside. So I got their dogs that. And then I also got the Mason shot glasses. And then I got, I got Sean a basil plant thingy because he really enjoys cooking and he mentioned in a conversation we had last week that he was gonna have a little garden in the back because he really enjoys cooking so he's gonna have like little herbs and try to grow them in the backyard so I figure I start him off with a basil plant and then since he loves cooking I wanted to introduce him well unless he doesn't unless he already knows what it is but I wanted to introduce him to my favorite chili garlic container if he wants to put it on steak or dip anything in there I got also but I got him measuring cups. Sorry, measuring spoons. I got him these measuring spoons right here. These were $10 and then this was $5. And then I also wanted to get Heather something. So I got Heather the same candle because this one smelled so good. And then I also got the same um, kitchen towels and then their dogs get more toys. And then I also got him a cutting board as well. I just feel like he enjoys grilling and all of that good stuff. So that is basically all I got for all of the neighbors. I will have to put together the last basket for my last neighbor, and then I will show you guys. I'm sorry if that was like too long of a what did I get kind of thing, but today was such a long day, it felt good to actually sit down and hang out. I'm so excited to give uh, Sean this. I feel like I'm gonna put some ramen and then I also got like bags of hot Cheetos and make it like super fun. So I will show you guys the end product later. Okay, you guys, we are finally going to do the Starbucks drink. I'm so excited. Okay, I learned my lesson though. Let's start with the sweet cream and then we will pop in our coffee. I always feel so stressed whenever I, I think I only feel stressed because I just started learning how to use an espresso. So I'm kind of like not in my comfort zone, but eventually your girl will be a profesh. In here, which is my frother, I'm going to do three venti, no, three pumps. So Brie gave me measurements for making like a whole batch for the week, but also like an individual drink. So I'm gonna do the individual rent right now. So three pumps vanilla. She says, since I don't have white mocha, I can put extra vanilla in the actual iced coffee, not the foam. Okay, so later we'll put extra in there. And then three ounces of 2% and three ounces is 18 teaspoons. So there's probably an easier way to do this. And then the heavy cream is four ounces. That seems like a lot for one. I love how my dogs are. That seems like a lot for one person, doesn't it? Okay, that's like all I can fit. Holy shit, I think I did too much. I'm screwed, I'm screwed. I, I already fucked up. All right, that'll do. You guys are stressing mommy out and that's why I messed up. It's all your fault. Okay, so we have that going. Maybe I should have just made the bigger batch. The bigger batch, she said, just put in a bottle and then shake it up and mix it really well. I should have just done that, but of course I didn't. Let me get ice. Okay, 
And then she said I can do extra pumps of vanilla because I don't have white mocha. So I'll just do two in there. What should we use today? Should we use, should we use Starbucks? Should we use Starbucks coffee? Or what do you guys think? Should we use Starbucks coffee? Or should we use the caramel thing again? Um, let's try Starbucks coffee. Why not, right? We're gonna use this Starbucks veranda blend. This one right here. This one. This one. It's not focusing. Huh? Oh, I hope this is good. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I didn't hit. Oh my god, I was gonna freak out, you guys. Oh my god, I just got so nervous. I didn't hit uh, the power button yet. Thank goodness. There we go. Okay. Now power. Oh my gosh, I look like coffee's coming out. Hopefully this is good. Ooh, she's blonde. Ooh, look at her, you guys. Looking good. She's beautiful. Hello, hello. This is so satisfying. Honestly, I'm obsessed. It smells great. Can I just do one more pump, please? Cause it looks dark, you know? It looks dark. Okay, let's see, let's see. Coffee's done. It smells just like Starbucks. So we're gonna pour it in. Ew. I feel like the whole month of March will be me experimenting with coffee. Okay, hopefully it tastes just like the one I get at Starbucks. Oh, it looks really pretty though. Okay, you guys ready? Not bad. I just need more of this. Not bad. I definitely like my creamer with coffee. <laughs> we lost an ice cube. That was very good. To be honest, I really like this that I used yesterday. The International Delight French Vanilla. This is so freaking pale. I messed it up again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is a keep. We're getting places. I wonder if I did like half, like a little bit of this and then a little bit of that. I think I can nail it. It's starting to taste the way that it should be tasting. Because I was experimenting with a lot of creams, I feel like the coffee is gone now. So now we learned a second time to not put a lot of creamer. But I like my uh, creamer with a little bit of coffee, you know? I was gonna make dinner, but I think I'm gonna order in tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna treat myself to some Postmates. So let's see what's on Postmates. Make you happy all the time. Cause I'm just so Okay friends, we are completely done. We have all of the baskets. I took the labels off, I stuffed it, I made it look pretty. We even wrote handwritten cards. So this is the first basket here. And then this is the one that I told you guys about. It's so cute, I love it. This is a basket that I got at Target and I had so many extra baskets of this. Like I bought like so many of this cause this used to be in my other closet and now I use it around the house to store stuff. So I was like, oh my God, great way to save money. I already have a basket at home. And then this one's probably my favorite. I just love it. It's so cute. But here's one. And then this is the other one. I just love this. Like I can see Megan reusing this. And then this is the other one. Look, did I show you guys this? How cute is this? Okay, so we are going to surprise the neighbors. I'm very, very excited. Obviously we won't film it for privacy reasons, but we will tell you guys how it goes. So remember how I told you guys, oh my God, it's so bright. It's this uh, light right here, it's so, so bright. Remember how I told you guys that you can now can go to Kohl's and return Amazon items, they'll pack it for you, they'll ship it for you, it's super easy. So when I was there, I returned three items and whenever you return at Kohl's, they give you a 25% off discount coupon. 
And so I ended up buying Carlos two shirts, which I'm going to give to him now. They're really, really cute. And you guys will probably get the inside joke because we do it all the time in our vlogs. But um, isn't that great marketing for Amazon to return it, to partner up with Kohl's because when you walk into Kohl's to return, you are bound to look around and buy something at Kohl's. So I just think it's a great marketing um, strategy that they thought of but I wanted to show you guys these strawberries I went to Stater Brothers and I saw these strawberries and I was like in awe look how beautiful and perfect these are like look at this one <laughs> isn't this so crazy I'm gonna cut up some strawberries the only thing I ate today was Chipotle and it's way too late to be post eating any food so I think we need this and then we're gonna watch designated survivor which I'm very very excited about Wait, babe, the, your shirts are in here. I wanted to see your reaction. <laughs> That's nice. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Since you game so freaking much, you might as well rep it. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Hey, you can wear this too, to like lounge around. Yeah, we share t-shirts. We're those people. Yeah. Yeah, there was a 25% off uh, coupon, so I was like, eh, why not? Wait, where? I re you return stuff at Amazon. I mean, you, you return Amazon stuff at Kohl's and Kohl's gives you a 25%. Oh. I think this one's hilarious. <laughs> we literally do this yeah. all the time. <laughs> you guys see what it says? It says, let's settle this like adults and it's rock, paper, scissor. But we literally do it all the time. <laughs> we literally rock, paper, scissor for every single decision we make. That's so funny. Now you have t-shirts because you lounge a lot. Thanks, baby. I do have t-shirts. I just got a... You just gotta wear your t-shirts. I gotta or yeah, I have this thing where I buy clothes or I buy sweaters or pants. And he displays them, he likes to look at them. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm getting better. You're I'm getting starting, better, starting true. Starting to wear them, so, so. True. Okay, so I wanna show you guys something I got the dogs cause it came today in the mail, so let me get it. Riley, can mommy see you real quick? Come here baby, so daddy can see you when you. Riley, come here, Riley. Riley, 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 oh. Baby, you won't listen to his food. It's so hard. Riley, Riley, come here. Yes, you good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, Daddy can do it. I'm over it. Wow. So you listen to Daddy, but not me. That's great. Oh, Bob, see, he's gonna keep you so warm. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. Did you guys see it? Ah, <laughs> uh, he won't do it. He'll do it when it's cold though. Cause when it's like, you feel like it's cold, you actually wear your stuff. I know you. Hi. He always sits here whenever I brush my teeth, brush my hair, wash my face. He makes himself comfortable. Let's try this out. I'm so excited. Oh, she's pretty. Wow. She's so pretty. It says, at night before your repair serum. Oh, use at night after your, oh, isn't this the repair serum? Okay, hopefully I bought the right one. Oh, I think I bought the wrong one. I think this is a, not a serum. The one that I saw is like a cream. I mean, the one I saw is clear, like a serum. Use at night after your repair. Yeah, I think I bought the wrong one. Oh no. Um. We'll put it on our skin anyways. Dang it, I bought the wrong one, you guys. I'm always so scared to use new skincare just because I can react to the silliest things. Okay, um, I bought the wrong one. I'm very sad. I was supposed to buy the clear serum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I only put it on my forehead because now I kind of just want to go with this. I know I bought the right one here. The Intense Recovery Cream. Ooh, I'm excited for this. It looks like this. Wow, she's pretty. Hey, Kobe! Kobe, who, who, walls, boo! It smells good. It says AM and PM, but I kind of just want to use this PM. Alrighty, you guys, I'm going to change into my PJs and yeah. go to bed. Oh, I thought these were your PJs. I wore this out, silly. You? You don't pay attention to me <laughs> ever. It's fine, though. You don't love me. Do you love me? Mm-hmm. Are you lying? No. 
We're gonna watch a Designated Survivor. Very excited. Very good show. It's a really good show. We saw the first four episodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta start now because something like that. We saw like the we first. We gotta four finish season one. We went to sleep late because it was that good. We were like, oh, okay, one more episode, and then we were like, oh, one more episode. I know. And then I was finally tired. And I just I'm tired out. tonight though. You wanna just go to bed then? No. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>